So about a year and a half ago in the spring of 2021, I was on the phone with my friend Gail and I said to her, what, what is this pickle thing you keep talking about? Something about some sport you're playing or some game you're playing. And she was like, you don't know what pickleball is? And I had never heard of it. And of course, at this point in time, you have to be living under a rock not to know what pickleball is. But I hope you'll withhold the eye rolling and, and hear me out because pickleball completely changed my life. So Gail tells me what pickleball is and we rented a house together in Martha's Vineyard. And it dawned on me that Gail would be going off to play pickleball with her friends and I would be left in the dust. So I found a clinic and took a couple of lessons and ended up playing pickleball pretty much five times a week all summer long. And it was fabulous. And then I came back to New York, bound and determined to find a place to play pickleball. And I remember one evening after dinner, I walked down to the corner of 36 and 2nd, and there were a bunch of people playing pickleball outside. And I went up to the fence and almost immediately an older gentleman came walking over to me and he said, Hey, do you want to play? Do you play? And I, I got really shy because I had just gone down there to sort of to look around. I didn't expect to be immediately approached by someone inviting me in, especially not in New York City. So when I say it changed my life, I, I, I mean that. It was the first time I had played a sport with other people in as long as I can remember. Growing up, I played softball and racquetball and soccer and basketball, but only once in like 30 years had I played a sport like pickleball. So it was really fun to go back to that childhood exuberance. And I think it's really revealing to see how people behave on the court, right? You see the people that are hard on themselves. You see the hotheads. You see those people that are super strategic that you underestimated. You see the people that get excited. I scream a lot. I, I have a lot of banter. And it's just, it's just a whole lot of fun. But what I love about it in New York is that when I showed up for the first many months, I had no idea who anybody was. I just knew their name and more or less where they lived. I'd be like, hey, Josh, where do you live? First and 23rd. And Mary, wait, I can't remember, Mary, where do you live? 46th and 5th. I knew nothing about these people. I didn't know where they were from, what their jobs were, not even what their last names were. And it's been very interesting to see how these relationships have evolved over the past year. One of the things I love is that it's people of all ages and men and women playing together. I would say the age range in my group is from about 19 to 82. And for the people that don't want to be generous players and play with anyone just for fun, they form their own games and they have their own private groups. But the people that show up on 36 and 2nd are there for the camaraderie and the fun. And it really doesn't matter who you're playing with. There are people from Sri Lanka and Mexico and Brazil and Italy and Florida and New Jersey and California. There are teachers and doctors and business owners, IT professionals. And it's just something that really warms my heart. And I've gotten to know people a little bit better. One guy in particular who I love, Mark. Mark is a urologist who had a midlife crisis, left his business and his wife and ended up buying a winery, getting remarried, and he lives on the Upper West Side. He's in his 80s, and he is one of the most fun and most strategic players in the group. And then there's Danny. Danny's like 20. I'm older than both of his parents. He texted me just the other day. I don't even remember his last name, and he basically said, can we get together to have that drink? I want to hear more about your career in the fashion business. So I've just made these new pals, and little by little, I hear about whose parent is not well, whose kid is getting married, who's off on a big life adventure, who's going to their winter retreat in Florida. And it's really something that has brought a lot to my life here. I'll leave you with this. Yesterday, I was playing with four people and I said to this guy, Rich, it was three women and Rich. And I said, Rich, I feel terrible. Every time I play with you, you lose. And he looked me square in the eye and he said, Constance, I love playing with you. I get exercise and I have fun and that's what I'm here for. So towards the end of the day yesterday, he said, I want to play with Constance. And he said to me, Constance, I want to take the center. You're moving into the center too much. So just stay on your side and relax into it. You're being too hard on yourself. Let's, let's do this. 
And of course we won. I felt so appreciative that Rich heard me and just extended his friendship and his camaraderie in a way that really warmed my heart. So if you stuck with me this far, thank you. And ask yourself this question if you haven't played pickleball before. Why haven't you tried it? Trust me, there's a reason why it's sweeping the country. People love it. It's fun. It's inclusive. It's easy and it's everywhere. Just show up with a beginner's mind. That's all for now. Until next time, from my heart to yours.